closer to resuming its place as a must-visit holiday destination as border controls for tourists were eased for the first time in about two years. The country has reopened to inbound visitors from 98 countries and regions deemed to be the lowest risk for COVID-19. They include the United States, South Korea and China. Visitors from those locations are exempt from both virus testing on arrival and quarantine, regardless of vaccination status. Even so, the number of arrivals is being capped at 20,000 per day for now. And tourists must be part of guided package tours as part of efforts to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Guidelines from the Japan Tourism Agency require travel agencies to ensure clients follow anti-infection measures, including wearing masks. They will also need private health insurance to cover any medical treatment while in Japan. Major travel agencies say it will be a month or so before the first tourists arrive as they need to advertise, and some visitors will have to apply for visas. People from outside the 98 approved countries and regions can only enter if it's for business or academic study. Anyone with three doses of an approved vaccine will not have to test or isolate when they reach Japan, as long as they don't arrive with a high temperature. But travels from Pakistan, Fiji, Albania and Sierra Leone remain subject to mandatory testing and isolation.